Hey guys, ZeroTech00 here, and today I'm gonna test the Monoxide ATXC malware with the B-Defender antivirus and also the Avast Free antivirus. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into the first test with the Avast Free antivirus. So, for the first test, I'm gonna run the Monoxide ATXC malware with all the protections on on the Avast Free antivirus. So, with that, let's run the Monoxide ATXC malware in 3, 2, and 1. And as you guys can see, the Avast Free Antivirus has detected and stopped the Monoxide ATXC malware from running in the first test. So with that, I guess we can proceed further into the second test. Now for the second test, I'm gonna run the Monoxide ATXC malware with the Behavior Shield protection off on the Avast Free Antivirus. So with that, let's run the Monoxide ATXC malware once again in 3, 2, 1. And as we can see again, the Avast Free Antivirus has detected and stopped the Monoxide ATXC malware from running in the second test as well. Now let's get further into the third test. Now for the third test, I'm gonna run the Monoxide ATXC malware with the file sheet protection off on the Avast Free Antivirus. So with that, let's run the Monoxide ATXC malware in 3, 2, and 1. And as we guys can see once again, the Avast Free Antivirus has detected and stopped the Monoxide ATXC malware from running in the third test. So with that, I guess it's pretty sure to say that we can get further into the last test. And for the last test, I'm gonna run the Monoxide ATXC malware with all the protections off on the Avast Free Antivirus and then I'm gonna reactivate them after I run the Monoxide ATXC malware. So with that, I'm gonna run the malware in 3, 2 and 1. And as you guys can see, surprisingly, the Avast Free Antivirus was still able to detect and stop the Monoxide ATXC malware from running even in the last test, which is like a very impossible test for most of the antiviruses. So amazing job Avast Free, now it's time to get into a quick scan and then into a restart. And as you guys can see, the Avast Free Antivirus just detected two malwares, but out of the two malwares, only one comes from the Monoxide ATXC malware. So I'm gonna delete that one and add the other one, which is not a malware, it's a tool for Windows Defender. I'm gonna add that one into exceptions and now I'm gonna remove the malware and then do a restart for the final conclusion. And as we guys can see, the system just booted up like normal or after the Avast free test. Now it's time to check Task Manager and see if the system has some viruses left from the Monoxide ATXC malware. And if it doesn't, I'm just gonna proceed with the next antivirus test, which is BDefender free. And as we can see, we don't have any malware left slash viruses from the uh, Monoxide ATXC malware. So with that, I guess I can say that the Avast Free Antivirus did a very great job and now we can also proceed to the next test with the B-Defender Free Antivirus. Well guys, for the first test of the B-Defender Free Antivirus, I'm gonna run the Monoxide ATXC malware with all the protections on. So without any further ado, let's run the Monoxide ATXC malware in 3, 2, 1. And as you guys can see, the B-Defender Free Antivirus has detected and stopped the Monoxide ATXC malware from running in the first test. So with that, let's get further into the second test. For the second test, I'm gonna run the Monoxide ATXC malware with Advanced 3 Defense Protection off on the uh, B-Defender Free Antivirus. So with that, I'm gonna run the Monoxide ATXC malware again in 3, 2 and 1. And as you guys can see again, the B-Defender Free Antivirus has detected and stopped the Monoxide ATXC malware from running in the second test. So with that, let's get further into the third test. Now for the third test, I'm gonna run the Monoxide ATXC malware once again, but this time with the real-time protection off on the B-Defender Free Antivirus. So with that, let's run the Monoxide ATXC malware once again in 3, 2, 1. And as you guys can see once again, 
The Bidefender Free Antivirus has detected and stopped the Monoxel ATXC malware from running, so with that we can get further in the last test as with Avas Free Antivirus. And as for the last test, I'm gonna run the Monoxel ATXC malware with all the protections off on the Bidefender Free Antivirus and then I'm gonna turn them back on once I run the malware. So with that, let's run the Monoxel ATXC malware for the last time in 3, 2 and 1. And as we guys can see, unfortunately this time around I got infected with the Monoxide ATXC malware in the last test. But I guess it is what it is, I mean not all antiviruses can survive the last test. So with that, I guess I'm gonna try to do a quick scan and hopefully fix the system up. And as we guys can see, unfortunately the system has crashed and I couldn't do the quick scan uh, till the end. So with that, I guess I'm gonna start the system back on and see if it got destroyed or not. And as we guys can see for the last time, unfortunately the system did got destroyed. So with that, I guess the final winner of this video is the Avast Antivirus since it surprisingly survived all the 4 tests. I don't know how since Avast 3 mostly would fail at the fourth test or the third test but I guess this time it did a miracle and it actually survived all the four tests so great job Avast 3 and as a conclusion I guess that not every time can B Defender 3 survive uh, all the four tests I mean sometimes it will sometimes it will not it depends if if there is a good day for surviving or not I mean I guess it depends from case to case so that's all I can say I hope you guys enjoyed this video see you guys next time in another new videos also shout out to all my two members thank you guys so much for becoming youtube members and yeah guys see you in my new future videos and stay safe from the malwares and also stay healthy bye bye